Hello everybody, welcome to this presentation. I'm Mauricio, I work as a software engineer at Microsoft. In today's presentation, I will be introducing the Spectre Gadget project. I will do a quick demo about that. Then I will be talking about a new feature that we are implementing that we call containerized gadgets. Again, another demo about that. And finally, I will be presenting or speaking the future plans that we have for the project. Right, so what is Inspector Gadget? Inspector Gadget is a framework or tool for inspecting and debugging Kubernetes containers and Linux host. It was initially inspired by BCC and we provide different tools that we call gadgets. So the idea is that each of those tools, each of those gadgets is focused on debugging, troubleshooting or observing a specific part of the system. For instance, we have one gadget for tracing DNS requests. We have another gadget for tracing new processes that are being created and so on. The, the motivation behind Inspector Gadget is that with eBPF, we are able to collect a lot of low level data from the kernel, but then this we need to find a way to provide this information in a clear way to the user. So in Inspector Gadget, we take the low level data from the kernel, we enrich that information and we provide that to the users by correlating that with high level concepts like Kubernetes container and so on. So for instance, when a process is created, we are able to say what is the PID of the process, what is the name of the command, but then we are also able to say what is the container pod name space where that event happened. We support Kubernetes, this by using a kubectl plugin. So we have our kubectl gadget plugin. The idea there is to provide an interface that is very similar to other kubectl uh, commands. And then for Linux, we are able also to trace containers and local processes there. We provide a binary call IG. So what are the different gadgets that we provide? So we, we have some built-in gadgets we divide those gadgets into different categories. Right now we have six categories. And um, yeah, just to mention some of them, we have the advice category. So those are gadgets that collect information and based on that, they are able to suggest uh, system configurations. For instance, uh, a set com profile. We have profilers, those gadgets observe the system and return statistics on the system. For instance, the latency of the block IO operations. We have a snapshot, those report the current status of the system. One example is to print the system or the processes that are being run in the, in the host. Another category that we have are the toppers. Those are for printing a sort list of information. For instance, the TCP connections ordered by the one with the most traffic. And finally, we have tracers. Those are like the more standard ones. And those print, those provide a string of events. A DNS request was sent, a process was created, and so on. We also have other gadgets. We have a script. This is like BPF trace, so a domain specific language for inspector gadget. And we also have trace loop. This is very similar to a stress, but in this case, it's faster. Okay, so let me show you a quick demonstration about the built-in gadgets that we have in Inspector Gadget. So I'm going to I'm going to trace, for instance, the new processes that are created on, on the cluster. So in order to do so, I will just uh, create a, a container so I can uh, issue some commands. So for instance, let's do scat, let's pink. So as you can see on the top, we have information about that. So we have that a cat command was secured. We have the arguments from that. And in the right part of the terminal, we have all those level details like the PID, the parent PID, the command and so on. But on the left part of the screen, we have the Kubernetes related information like the node, namespace, pod, container, and so on. Mm, for instance, we can check all the files that are being opened in the cluster. So by passing this dash A, we are saying that we are going to trace all namespaces. 
So we print all the activity that is happening on the class. I show you the current status of the project, but this is something that we are changing. While we were thinking about how to support external gadgets, we realized that we could be able to implement a more generic and flexible mechanism to run gadgets. So this is what we, we are calling containerized gadgets. So the idea here is to implement a mechanism for packaging and distributing the BPF programs. We could say that this is a container-like runtime for eBPF programs. The whole idea is to provide something that users are already familiar with. So for instance, users are very familiar with containers, dockers, and so on. So the mechanism that we are providing is very familiar to that. The idea is that we take the eBPF programs, we put those eBPF programs into an image, we push that image to a container registry, and then the users will be able to pull and run those images by using inspector gadget. This support was initially inspired by Bumblebee. So how does it work from the technical point of view? When, when the user wants to run a gadget, the inspector gadget pulls the gadget image. In there, we have the different eBPF programs and other files. We load and attach those eBPF programs into the kernel. And based on a naming convention that we have, we are able to understand if the different maps in the eBPF programs are of interest for us. So if there are some maps that are used to output the events, we read those maps, we get the events, and then we enrich, format, and print, and print those events to the user. I think the easiest way to show you how it works is by doing a demonstration. So right here I have uh, the eBPF code of a gadget. This is the trace open. This is based on the open snoop tool from BCC. So here we import some header file with some type definition and helper functions that we provide in Inspector Gadget. This is the definition of the event that we are going to send to user space. And this is the map that the BPF programs will be using to send those events to, to user space. So we have this print underscore prefix. This allows Inspector Gadget to identify that this is a map that we should be reading to get the events. Uh, and right, here we have all the logic, the different eBPF programs and so on to get and populate the events from the kernel. The other thing that we have is a definition file. So this file describes the different fields that are provided by the gadget. Actually, this is something that is mandatory right now, but we are working to make this optional. Okay, so we can compile the eBPF program by running make. This will just use clan and we'll create the eBPF object. And then we can use the build command to put that eBPF object and the definition file I showed you before into a container image. So this is the command that we have to run. And yeah, right now it only accepts the compiled eBPF object, but we are also working so that clan is directly involved by this image build command. Uh, if I do IG in my list, we can see the different gadgets that we have available on my system. I can push that to a container registry, and then I can run that. So in order to run that, this is very similar to the Docker run or to the kubectl run command. So this is the, the name of the image. And yeah, so if I use this, this is only going to capture the events from my container. So as you can see a lot of events there, but yeah, all the things that I show you before are, are also supported there. So I call show all the events from all namespaces and so on. What are the features plans that we have for Inspector Gadget? Well, the first thing that we are working on is to implement all the built-in gadgets that we have as containerized gadgets. We are also thinking about providing the possibility to have custom user space code. We know that there are some gadgets that require some custom user space logic, not only BPF programs. We are working to implement that. And additionally to that, the idea is to uh, create more integrations for Inspector Gadget, like supporting as different exporters for logs, like for logs, also Prometheus, 
or having an API. And additionally to that, we are implementing a more robust arrangement, supporting other things like systemd and so on. And right, that's it.